Hey Riff here from On Microsoft, and today we're going to have a look at the Office 365 dashboard. Once you're up and running with a Microsoft Office 365 subscription, the central hub for all of your activities will be the Office 365 dashboard. One of the first noticeable areas when visiting the Office 365 dashboard is the app launcher. Available right on the top page, you'll find that this will link to web versions of any apps or services that are covered under your subscription. In our case, that includes Outlook, OneDrive, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, SharePoint, Teams, Yammer, Dynamics 365, Flow, and Planner. You can always click on the All Apps button to access all of your apps covered under your Office 365 subscription. At the very top of the Office 365 dashboard, you'll notice a search bar. As the name suggests, this lets you find any content across all of Office 365. That can be a specific document or a file that you are working on, a specific content or even a specific app. It is designed to help make your life easy, skipping out on visiting things manually. Here you can see that Outlook and a bunch of files that we were working on are appearing because these are our most frequently used content. At the side of the Office 365 dashboard, you'll notice that there is an icon that looks like nine little tiny squares. If you click on this icon, it will summon a pop-out menu. This is typically accessible across any of the Office 365 online apps and is a mini version of the dashboard. On the top, you'll see a list of apps. Then in the middle, you'll see a list of documents. You can create a new document from this pop-out menu by clicking on New. Next up, in the middle of the Office 365 dashboard is the document section. Here, there'll be a few tabs for certain Office content. These include Recent, Pin, Shared With Me, and Discover. Recent is a great way to access some of the files you've most commonly accessed across Office 365. Pin, meanwhile, allows you to pin Office documents for quick access. You can do this by right-clicking on anything on the Recent list and choose an Add to Pin. Shared with me allows you to see some of the Office files shared with you via email without having to go into Outlook or OneDrive. Finally, with Discover, you'll be able to access some of the files on your SharePoint. If some of the files you would like to see aren't showing up in this section, then you can always click the More in OneDrive link at the bottom of the screen to navigate to OneDrive and download or view files. You can also choose an alternate view for these files by clicking on this icon here in the top right corner. This will let you see it as a list or as a tile. The third area of the Office 365 dashboard is the OneDrive section. This area is home to your most recently used OneDrive folders. It gives you quick access without having to manually visit OneDrive to access your files. Of course, you can always head to OneDrive on the dashboard too. Simply click the Go to OneDrive link in this section. On the other side is the SharePoint section. This is home to your most frequently visited sites. You can also click on the Go to SharePoint link at the bottom of the screen. Thanks for watching and be sure to keep it tuned to On Microsoft for all your Office 365 news, information, tips and tricks and more. And be sure to check out our Office 365 help.